instance. To exit the alarms list, press Exit. Alarms can also be viewed from the menu. A built-in electronic data logger records unit operating information, which, if necessary, can be used to verify unit performance during transit. To view the data, press Menu. Press Next to scroll to the data logger screen. Press Select to access the data logger menu. To view the data, press Next, then Select at the Print View screen. Press Exit to exit. There are also built-in hour meters for recording unit operating hours. To view them, press the menu key. Press Next to scroll to the hour meters screen. Then press Select. Total unit hours will appear. Use the Next key to display total engine hours. A sleep mode feature allows these units to be automatically shut down for extended periods of time when the box is empty. To activate it, press Menu. Repeatedly press the Next key to scroll to the Mode screen. Press Select. Press Next until Start Sleep Mode appears. Then press Select. To program a wake-up time, press Yes. From here, you can program the day and time you want the unit to restart or wake up. Once you've programmed the wake up day and time, you will be asked if you want the unit to perform a pre-trip when it wakes up. Press yes or no to make your selection. Once the sleep mode is programmed, the unit will stop or go to sleep until the programmed wake-up time. When the unit wakes up, it will start. If programmed to perform a pre-trip when the unit wakes up, it will do so. If not, the unit will start in the previously programmed continuous run or cycle sentry mode and operate as necessary to achieve and maintain the last programmed set point temperature. Two different automatic pre-trip tests allow you to verify proper unit operation prior to carrying a load. The full pre-trip includes both non-running and running tests. The running pre-trip does not include non-running checks. To successfully initiate either one, there must be no alarms in memory, and the unit must not be in the sleep mode. If alarms exist that cannot be cleared, contact your Thermoking dealer for assistance. Once any alarm conditions have been corrected and the alarms are cleared, press the menu key. Press Next repeatedly until Pre-Trip appears. Press Select. Programming Pre-Trip mode indicates the Pre-Trip is being initiated. Once initiated, a series of tests will be performed to verify proper unit operation. When the pre-trip is complete, pre-trip pass should appear, indicating the unit passed the test. Press exit to return to the standard display. If pre-trip check or pre-trip failed appears after the test, contact your Thermoking dealer for assistance. Pre-trip can be terminated by turning the unit off. If this is done, however, the controller will register an alarm, or alarms, which must be cleared before the unit can be started again. This test may be run unattended.
To view the time, day, and date programmed into the controller, press the menu key. Repeatedly press the next key until time appears. Press the select key to access the time display. Pressing the exit key returns you to the time display. Pressing exit again returns you to the standard display. If an alarm occurs while you're on the road, the alarm screen will appear and the display will flash. The alarm number, quantity of alarms in memory, and a description of the alarm will be displayed. To clear the alarm, or alarms, press the clear key. If the alarm successfully cleared, no alarms will be displayed. If they did not successfully clear, or the symptoms that caused the alarm still exist, the alarms will likely reoccur. If they do, contact your Thermal King dealer immediately for assistance. After the alarms are cleared, no alarms should appear, indicating there are no alarms in memory. The unit should then automatically preheat and start. To prevent unnecessary unit downtime and potential cargo damage, contact your Thermal King dealer immediately for assistance. The SR2 has electronic data logging capability and records unit operating data. A start of trip places a marker in the data logger memory to identify the beginning of a new cargo trip. To initiate a start of trip, press the menu key, followed by the next key. Then press select to access the start of trip menu. Press select again. Start of trip appears, indicating the start of trip is being entered. Start of trip complete appears. Press the exit key repeatedly to return to the standard display. As a convenience feature, the SR2 has several service interval timers. If they are set, a message will appear when the corresponding maintenance item, such as an oil change, is due. The SR2's display brightness is adjustable. To change it, press the menu key. Press Next repeatedly to scroll to the Adjust Brightness screen. Then press Select. Use the plus or minus key to scroll to the desired brightness level. Once displayed, press yes to make the change. The new brightness level will appear, confirming the change was made. To return to the standard display, press the exit key. For security and to prevent unauthorized unit tampering, the SR2 keypad can be locked. To do so, press the menu key. Press Next repeatedly to scroll to the Mode screen, then press Select. Press Next to scroll to the Keypad Lockout screen, then press Select. Press Yes to lock the keypad. The standard display will return, and Keypad Locked will appear in the display. To unlock the keypad, Press and hold one of the soft keys for five seconds or more. For additional SB Series unit operating information, refer to the SB Series unit's operator manuals. Knowing how to properly operate Thermal King refrigeration units with the SR2 controller will help make your job easier and help ensure the cargo you're carrying arrives at its destination in prime condition.